Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjaliyapal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the subject Design of Transmission System. This is lecture number 2.3. We are going to solve few problems on the design of V-Belt. In the earlier two lectures, we discussed the design procedure for V-Belt using the PSG data book and we solved three problems in the V belt and in this lecture also we continue with the problem solving. We solve three more problems from the Anna University question paper. The example number four, a V belt drive is to be arranged between two shafts with 1.2 meter as center distance. The driving pulley is 250 millimeter effective diameter and is to be supplied with 20 kilowatt power at 960 rpm. The follower pulley is to run at 460 rpm. Determine the number of belts required from the following data. Area of the belt cross section 143 millimeter square. Mass density of the belt material 1000 kilogram per meter cube. Permissible tensile stress 2 newtons per millimeter square. Coefficient of friction 0.3. Groove angle of the pulley 2 beta equal to 40 degree. This question was appearing in November 2015 question paper. So, we write down the given data center distance 1.2 meter, power 20 kilowatt, diameter of the driver pulley small d equal to 250 millimeter, which is 0.25 meter, speed of the driver pulley n small n equal to 960 rpm, speed of the driven pulley capital N equal to 460 rpm, area of belt cross section 143 millimeter square, mass density of the belt material 1000 kilograms per meter cube, permissible tensile stress sigma equal to 2 newtons per millimeter square, coefficient of friction mu equal to 0.3, the groove angle of the pulley 2 beta equal to 40 degree. Now we calculate the diameter of the driven pulley. So we have I equal to speed of the smaller pulley divided by the speed of the larger pulley which is small n by capital N 960 divided by 460 equal to 2.09. The I is also is given by diameter of the larger pulley divided by the diameter of the smaller pulley capital D by small d equal to 2.09. Now, the capital D the diameter of the driven pulley 2.09 into small d equal to 2.09 into 0.25 equal to 0.522 meter which is 522 millimeter. Then we calculate the mass of the belt per meter length m equal to density of the belt material into cross section area. So, 1000 into 143 into 10 power minus 6 equal to 0.143 kilogram per meter. Then we calculate the belt velocity v equal to pi d n by 60. So, pi into 0.25 into 960 divided by 60 equal to 12.56 meters per second. Then we calculate the centrifugal tension T c equal to m v square. So, 0.143 into 12.56 square equal to 22.56 Newton. Then we calculate the arc of contact theta equal to 180 minus capital D minus small d divided by c into 60 degree. That is equal to 180 minus 0 0.522 minus 0 0.25 divided by 1.2 into 60 equal to 166.4 degree. Then we calculate the maximum tension in the belt. T max equal to sigma into cross sectional area. Sigma is a tensile stress 2 into 10 power 6 into 143 into 10 power minus 6. So, 2 it is given as 2 newtons per millimeter square. We have to convert into newtons per meter square. So, multiply by 10 power 6. So, T max equal to 286 newton. And we calculate the belt tension. Tension on the tight side and the tension on the slack side. So, tension on the tight side T1 equal to T max minus centrifugal tension. So, 286 minus 22.56 equal to 263.44 Newton and we have this expression relation between the belt tension T1 by T2 equal to e to the power mu theta by sin beta. So, exponential of 0.3 mu equal to 0.3 theta equal to 166.4 you have to convert into radians multiplying by pi by 180 divided by sin 20 equal to 12.75. So, T2 equal to 263.44 divided by 12.75 equal to 20.65 Newton. Then we calculate the power to be transmitted, power transmitted by one belt that is equal to T1 minus T2 into V velocity. So, 263.44 into 
minus 20.65 into 12.56 equal to 3049.4 watts. Then the number of belts, total power transmitted divided by the power transmitted per belt, 20,000 in watts, 20,000 divided by 3049.4 equal to 6.55 equal to 7. This is the answer to the problem. We we'll take the next example, example number 5. A V belt is driven on a flat pulley and V pulley. The drive transmits 20 kW from 250 mm diameter V pulley operating at 1800 rpm to a 900 mm diameter flat pulley. The center distance is 1 meter, angle of the groove 40 degree, coefficient of friction 0.2. If the density of the belting is, is 1100 kg per meter cube and the allowable stress is 2.1 mega Pascal for the belt material, what will be the number of belts required if C, C size B belt having 230 mm square cross sectional area is used? And this question was appearing in May 2011 and November 2012 question paper. We write down the given data. So, center distance is 1 meter, power equal to 20 kilowatts, diameter of the driver pulley small d equal to 250 millimeter which is 0.25 meter, diameter of the driven pulley capital D equal to 900 millimeter which is 0.9 meter, speed of the driver pulley small n equal to 1800 rpm, area of the cross section of the belt 230 millimeter square, mass density of the belt material 1100 kilogram per meter cube. Permissible tensile stress sigma equal to 2.1 mega Pascal, coefficient of friction mu equal to 0 0.2 and the groove angle of the pulley 2 beta equal to 40 degree. Mass of the belt per meter length, we calculate the mass of the belt per meter length m equal to density of the belt material in the cross sectional area 1100 into 230 into 10 power minus 6 equal to 0.253 kilogram per meter. Then we calculate the belt velocity V equal to pi dn by 60. So, pi into 0.25 into 1800 divided by 60 equal to 23.55 meters per second. Then we calculate the centrifugal tension Tc equal to mv square 0.253 into 23.55 square equal to 140.3 newton. We calculate the arc of contact theta equal to 180 minus capital D minus small d divided by c into 60 degree that is equal to 180 minus 0 0.9 minus 0 0.25 divided by 1 into 60 equal to 141 degrees. Then we calculate the maximum tension in the belt T maximum equal to sigma the tensile stress into cross sectional area 2.1 in 10 power 6 into 230 into 10 power minus 6 equal to 483 newton. The belt tensions we calculate T1 and T2. T1 is the tension on the tight side and T2 is the tension on the slack side. Tension on the tight side equal to T max minus centrifugal tension that is 483 minus 140.3 equal to 342.7 Newton and uh, we have this expression T1 by T2 equal to exponential of mu theta by sin beta, sin beta so equal to exponential of substituting numerical values 0 0.2 into 141 into pi by 180 to convert theta into radians divided by sin 20 equal to 4.21. So, the tension on the slack side T2 equal to 342.7 divided by 4.21 equal to 81.4 Newton. Then we calculate the power transmitted by one belt T1 minus T2 into velocity V. So, 342.7 minus 81.4 into 230 23.55 equal to 6153.6 watts. Then the number of belt we calculate number of belt equal to total power transmitted divided by the power transmitted per belt. So, 20,000. So, 20 kilowatt is given 20,000 divided by 6153.6 equal to 3.25. We make it as 4. So, the number of belt required is 4. That is the answer to the problem. The next example, example number 6 and this was appearing in May 2011 and May 2005 question paper. Two shafts whose centers are 1 meter apart are connected by a V belt drive. The driving pulley is supplied with 95 kilowatt power and has an effective diameter of 300 millimeter. It runs at 1000 rpm while the driven pulley runs at 375 rpm. 
the angle of the groove on the pulley is 40 degree the permissible tension is 400 mm square permissible tension in 400 mm square cross sectional area belt is 2.1 mega pascal the material of the belt has a density of 1100 kg per meter cube the driven pulley is overhung the distance of the center from the nearest bearing is 200 mm the coefficient of friction between belt and the pulley rim is 0.28 estimate the number of belt required and write down the given data center distance 1 meter power 95 kW diameter of the driver pulley 300 mm 0.3 meter speed of the driver pulley small n equal to 1000 rpm speed of the driven pulley capital n equal to 375 rpm area of the cross section of the belt 400 mm square mass density of the belt material 1100 kg per meter cube permissible tensile stress sigma equal to 2.1 mega pascal coefficient of friction mu equal to 0.28 and the groove angle of the pulley 2 beta equal to 40 degree we calculate the diameter of the driven pulley we have the speed ratio i equal to speed of the smaller pulley divided by speed of the larger pulley so small n by capital n 1000 divided by 375 equal to 2.67 the i is also equal to diameter of the larger pulley divided by diameter of the smaller pulley capital d by small d which is 2.67 and the diameter of the larger pulley that is diameter of the driven pulley 2.67 into small d equal to 2.67 into 0.3 equal to 0.8 meter which is 800 mm then mass of the belt per meter length so mass equal to density of the belt material in the cross sectional area So 1,100 into 400 into 10 power minus 6 equal to 0.44 kilograms per meter. We calculate the belt velocity. So V equal to pi d n by 60, which is pi into 0.3 into 1,000 divided by 60 equal to 15.7 meters per second. Then the centrifugal tension T C equal to m v square. So 0.44 into 15.7 square equal to 108.45 newton. Then we calculate the arc of contact. Theta equal to 180 minus capital D minus small d divided by c into 60. Substituting numerical values, 180 minus 0.8 minus 0.3 divided by 1 into 60 equal to 150 degree. We calculate the maximum tension in the belt. T max equal to sigma, the tensile stress into cross sectional area of the belt, 2.1 into 10 power 6. 2.1 mega pascal is given. 2.1 into 10 power 6 into 400 into 10 power minus 6 equal to 840 newton. Then we calculate the belt tensions. So the tension on the tight side, T1 equal to T maximum minus Tc, which is 840 minus 108.45 equal to 731.55. And we have this expression relation between the two tension, T1 and T2. T1 is the tension on the tight side. T2 is the tension on the slack side. Equal to exponential of mu theta by sine beta equal to substituting numerical values, exponential of 0.28. Into 150 into pi by 180 to convert degree into radians, divided by sine 20 equal to 8.52. Then the tension on the slack side, T2 equal to 731.55 divided by 8.52 equal to 85.88 newton. Then we calculate the power transmitted by one belt, which is T1 minus T2 into V, 731.55 minus 85.88 into 15.7 equal to 10. Ten thousand one thirty-seven watts. Then the number of belt required, total power transmitted that divided by power transmitted per belt. So ninety-five kilowatt is the power of the drive. So ninety-five into thousand ninety-five thousand divided by ten thousand one thirty-seven equal to nine point three seven, which is ten. So the number of belt equal to ten. That is the answer to the problem. So we stop here. So these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering. and i upload the video lectures on all the subjects in the youtube channel you subscribe the channel use the videos for learning the subject for your better mark in the examination so thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box you can contact me to my mail id or whatsapp number here for any clarification on the subject we'll meet again in another video on the subject design of transmission system Until then, bye.